Hi there, I'm Nick from TBT, www.airriflutuning.com and this is my video on the new range of TBT tuning kits for the Virarch HW80. Now, the HW80 is probably the flagship brake barrel of the, uh, of the Virarch range. It's been around forever and it will be around forever. They say if there's a nuclear war, only HW80s and cockroaches will survive it. I can believe that. They're built solidly, they're built very well to a very high standard, they're a good high powered air rifle uh, and, and they do exactly what they say on the tin, it's a brake barrel which for me is my preferred design of air rifle, it's easy to load, quick to reload and not too front heavy, perfect for, for hunting or target shooting in your back garden. Now we have three kits available for the HW80 now and they all new, use our new TBT Premium Magnum range of springs. We brought out or started making our own springs last year. You may have seen it, you may have seen the video, you may have used one of our previous springs or, or other springs. We started off making them for the 25 and 26 millimeter guns with a 3.1 millimeter wire uh, in various lengths for various different powers. They're made from made in the UK from high quality silicon chrome steel. They've been shot peened to close up all the fissures on the outside of it which is a process that uh, increases their power, increases their longevity and they're also compressed twice before before coming to you so that they're already, it's called taking a set, they're at their working length. Normally when you get a spring, a new one, it's 10% longer and after its first couple of compressions it goes to its working length. These have already been done beforehand. The previous springs that we did in 2022, which we're still doing obviously, um, were for the 200 gram-ish piston. Okay, a 3.1 millimeter wire designed to move that piston smartly along the tube. These Magnum ones are for heavier pistons, 300 gram range pistons, things like the HW35, HW80, Diana 4852, that kind of thing. They're a 3.6 millimeter wire, so they're a lot stronger, and as the Magnum name would suggest, they give more power. We do them in two lengths. We do a, a 25 and a 30 coil spring. Um, so we're gonna look at the different kits and what springs come with them and what you'd expect. Firstly, what I would say, if you want to run one of these at under 12 foot pounds, the kit you need is the Maxi Pro kit. Okay, that comes with the shorter of the Magnum Springs, fitted with a two piece rear guide, top hat, comes with slip washer, power washers, a pot of our bum slide high molly post, which is currently hiding, um, and a short stroke extension. The short stroke extension, if you watch the short stroking, video it'll go into it in more depth but basically the amount of air that this pushes out isn't good for 12 foot pounds you have to run the piston so slowly it makes it difficult to get the best out of it so the 15 millimeter short stroke as an example reduces the amount of air pushed out to the same as an HW35 in 2.2 that is perfect I prefer 15 millimeter extension in either caliber some people prefer a 12 millimeter with a 177 and a 15 millimeter with a 22. So, if you're after sub 12 foot pounds, uh, if you're in the UK or if you're competing in a class where it runs to 12 foot pound rules, I know there are various ones of those around Scandinavia, Europe, and, and the United States, then the Maxi Pro is the one to get. As a general rule, 15 mil extension for 22 and a 12 millimeter extension for 177. That will enable, enable you with some, with some tuning involved on your part and balancing things out to get the perfect shot cycle under 12. The next kit available um, is the mid-range kit, which is the same spring, the same 25 coil spring. It just doesn't come with the short stroke extension or the bum slide. It's just the spring, fitted guides, slip washers, power washers. This is intended to be used at over 12 foot pounds. Um, the mid-range one, this is my personal favorite. Okay, this is, this is what I'm gonna have in this gun. Um, when you come to rebuild it, the back blog, I mean, we've got rebuild videos, strip down videos on, on the website. Take a look at those, I'm not stripping it down today. I've done it four times already today, but 
when you come to rebuild it, this part threads into there. With this kit, when it sits into the gun, it's halfway down those threads. So when you come to rebuild it, there's no spring tension there. You just wind the back block, it, block in, it picks up the spring about halfway down and gives it about 10 millimeters of preload. Lovely, so simple, and it's lovely and easy to cock. I fitted this with no power washers because I just wanted to see what it would do on its own. All the figures I give you are for this gun, okay? It's about 20 years old, it's a 2.2 HW80K. It's had nothing done to it apart from what you see here. I've put a new seal in it a couple of years ago and I keep it nicely greased with um, bum slide high molly paste. But you know, other than that, it is the same as your gun at home. So I put this in, nice and easy to cock, and I tried it with various pellets. The lowest power I got was with the Air Arms Fields. Now these are 16 grain pellets. These are not suitable for most air rifles. Conversely to PCPs, where the heavier the pellet, the higher your power. With a Springer, you're working on building pressure rather than a pulse of air. So it's actually the opposite way around. The heavier the pellet, the less efficient it is usually. There are always exceptions to the rule. But in this case it's proved itself out because these 16 grain pellets came out at 14.2 foot pounds. Not too shabby. I mean I'm not saying they're they're weak, but you know 14.2 is what we got with those. I also tried super domes because who doesn't love super domes? Firearms of super domes, especially in 2.2. Sub 12 foot pounds, I find these as accurate as anything out to 30 yards. Past 30 yards, questionable, but out to 30 yards, they're brilliant. Uh, these were a 14.5 grain pellet and these did 15.2 foot pounds, which was 682 foot, uh, feet a second. So that's good. And then, just because I could and because I had some and I've got to use them up somehow, not the ones, these ones. I've got some Field Target Trophy Greens. These are the lead free things. Tiny, well they're not tiny, they're the same size, but really lightweight. They are 9.56 grams. And they came out the end of the barrel at 852 feet a second, which is 15.4 foot pounds. So, this mid-range kit, which is easy to cock, very easy to rebuild, with no power washers, is gonna give you 15 foot pounds approximately. The power washers that were in there, had I fitted them, I would expect that to have gone up to 16 and a half to 17 foot pounds because you get just over a half foot pound from each one in this gun. Um, so there you go. If you want anything from 15 to 17 foot pounds in 2.2, that's easy to cock, easy to rebuild, that's the one to go for. Then we have the big spring. It's five coils longer than the medium spring. So when you come to rebuild it, there is a bit of wrestling involved. You'll need a spring compressor or a sash clamp or a, or, or a friend to help you do it. If you don't have a spring compressor, but you do have a friend, you can fit the kit, put the trigger block onto a, a strong surface, and then one person can push the gun down onto the threads and the other person twists it. It's recommended to use a spring compressor, but we've all done this. It is, it's not undoable, um, but there is, some preload involved. Also, because it's five coils longer, there's more cocking effort. I mean, it's not difficult. The longer the barrel, the easier it's gonna be, but it is noticeably more difficult than the shorter one, which you would expect. But then, on the flip side, we get a little bit more power than the little one. Again, I fitted this just with our top hat, slip washer, two-piece rear guide, little bit of bum slide, no power washers. I don't even know if a power washer would fit in, because it could well be that um, with the power washer it will just become coil bound. The, the power washers really, in my mind, are there for if you're trying to reduce the power down to a limit and you go too far, they're to bring it back up. It's not something you use as a matter of course. So, I ran the same pellets over the Chrono. The Diablo Fields lost again a measly 17.8 foot pounds. It's not bad, is it? I mean, it's, it's, it's a heavy pellet lumbering along, but 17.8. So, you know, we'll give it a, we'll give it a, a, a B plus for trying. Um, Superdomes, Superdomes seem to really enjoy this spring. They came out at 20.16 feet a second. Uh, no, they didn't. 20.16 20, 20 foot pounds. 
big difference between those two things. So we're getting 20 foot pound straight off the bat just with a drop in kit with the super dome. Brilliant. And then just to see what would happen, I'll put in some of these little lightweight groovers. And they came out. I was kind of hoping they'd go supersonic just because it's, it's always a, a pleasant surprise when things do, but they didn't. They topped out 993 feet a second, which was 20.92 foot pounds. So, there we have it. If you want to run at under 12 foot pounds, you need the Maxi Pro kit. Um, if you want to run over 12 foot pounds, you don't need the Maxi Pro kit. You need either the mid range kit which is easy to cock, easy to rebuild, going to give you 15 to 16 foot-pounds, maybe 17 uh, if you use the power washers. And if you want to go full power for longer range rabbits or whatever it is you're shooting, then get the full length spring and you'll be somewhere around 20 foot-pound. Now obviously you can fine tune these things, get a little bit more power out of them. Um, if you want these, these are just the straight dropped in, nothing else done to it figures so that you know where they're going to be. And these powers are done with a 2.2. With a 177 the power will be low because 177 is less efficient than a 2.2. Um, and if it was a 177, in honesty I would stick to the mid-range maxi because as soon as you go over 950 feet a second you get into the transonic range and your accuracy goes out the window. So there's no point going for higher, higher, higher power with the 177, you are limited by your pellet speed. So with most pellets you'd use in a Springer, around about 14 and a half, 15 foot pound is the maximum for a 177, so the mid-range one will do it. And there you go, that's the range. If you have any questions, please drop me a line or ring me. Um, they're very easy to fit. The strip down guide is on the video, uh, video is on the website as well. Any questions, let me know. Any questions during fitting, let me know. Any observations, send me an email. I'm always happy to hear from you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and happy shooting. Bye bye.